even though Weir is a terrible program. But here we are, round two, Combo <laughs> Zoo versus Blue Moon. Justin has a rare appearance playing Magic. He's on the play. He's going to start with a Polita Delta and pass it back. Lopi's going to go to 17. He's going to play a Wild McConnell. Not a bad start there for Lopi. Uh, Pretty was good start. Now, both of these players have access to uh, Blood Moon. Lopi threw Magus to the Moon, and of course, Justin threw Blood Moon itself. So it's going to be interesting to see how the players um, play around those cards. Not sure if Justin knows Lopi has it. Not sure if Lopi knows what Justin's playing. Well, Justin got the Steam Vent, so you got to assume that he's not planning on playing a Blood Moon anytime soon. No. <coughs> or maybe he just has enough blue sources that he just doesn't care. Always a possibility. He's got the bolt in his hand, so... He also has a Blood Moon in hand. Yeah, he's got some blue fetches, he's got an island, he's got a Blood Moon and a bolt, so we can very easily turn through Blood Moon and see what Lopi can do, as he's going to untap, he's going to draw. Looks like an Ancestral Vision, maybe? Didn't get the best look at it. Here's Plota Delta number two, and he's just going to pass back the turn. Can't imagine it's the caught a list for long, though. Oh, it's dead. And here's a, here's a high arc. That'll resolve. There's a Woodfoot Hills number two. Here's an attack with an Exalted Trigger, which is smart. It makes Justin respond to the trigger, because otherwise, if Justin tries to bolt it, uh, Lopi can just fetch up the mountain, and then it's a 4-4. Four -four. But instead, Justin wisely responds to the trigger. The coddle down, no damage done. Um, this Hierarch, though, should do a pretty decent job yeah. of getting around Blood Moon. Hierarch's going to do some damage. So I don't know if I would say no damage done when there's a Hierarch, and he's going to untap with it by all accounts. I mean, he's not going to take four to the face. The damage has been done. <laughs> not not damage to the dome, but damage to the board. Yeah. Is a turn three Blood Moon. Lopi's going to blatantly respond for, I presume, to be a forest. Yeah, I, I got to think it's a forest here, but I don't know what's in his hand. I mean, he needs double forest for evolution. Sure. And spike feeder. But again, uh, Blood Moon, not the best play here because of that Hyark. It was awkward because, I mean, do you kill the Hyark there or do you just kill the, the Coddle? Well, you can. I'm a board on killing the Hierarch. Just to cut him off in the mana? Yeah. Especially uh, like if my plan is turn three Blood Moon. Yeah, there's a Spike Feeder in Lopi's hand, but he currently cannot cast the Archangel. He has to evolve for it. He's going to play a Reliquary and a Tap Mountain. Just pass it back. Let's see what Justin picks up here. Another yeah, Reliquary is pretty strong here. He's going to play another Island. He's got a bunch of Mountains in hand. He's got a Videlcan Shackles, I believe. And uh, what looks like... A full art something. Yeah, that Knights of 4-4 four, four just sure two lands in the bin. Don't see how that Knights could be any bigger, but again, uh, yeah, it's a Mana League full art. But again, he took care of the Cog Clock, but now there's a Night Clock staring down his face, and he's just going to go straight to combat. It's an attack for five, and Justin's going to take it. Yeah, not much else he can do. It's a mountain and a knight number two, and yeah, Justin's going to leak that. Otherwise, he's just, just dead. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what Lopi wants, so he's got the combo in hand. He can't cast it, though. He needs the second white source somehow. Oh, sure. I mean, he can sacrifice the forest with the knight. There's a battle in shackles. See if he takes something here. Oh, let him untap is a little bit dangerous. He's reaching for that higher. And Justin's just going to take it. But still, that's four. Justin's going to the nine. And Magus is Blood Moon number two. But this one is on a body, and Justin can't be too happy about that. As he untaps. I imagine that a uh, higher will soon be thrown in front of a creature. I think that's a safe assumption. Looks like it's all lands at hand for Justin. Slippy will draw. He can't really play much of anything in his hand right now, I believe. There's the Archangel in there, there's another white card, and there's the Is Spike that a Feeder. Core Firewalker? Main board Firewalker? Oof. Yeah, 
not willing to let his no. no hierarch die. Because then he can just untap the shackles and take something else, right? Sure. Yeah. Here's three mana. It's okay. He'll just play shackles number two then. It's like Lopi's counting up mana for something. He's gonna try to make this thing bigger. Just in chapter at the search, but can't quite do that. So he's gonna get a planes, maybe. I think if he has another forest, he just gets forest, but he doesn't. No, he gets the planes. I mean, he can't run more than one. His plan probably here is to play the Archangel, I guess. With what? Yeah, it's... Because now he can't cast any more high arcs. He can't cast the birds. Like, it's the right call, because yeah. now you're very reliant on I mean, getting here with Knight of the Reliquary. He has a path in hand. Maybe that's why. He draws a Windsup Teeth. It becomes a mountain. Uh, he's going to try to go to combat. Justin's going to try to... He will path it. He's going to fetch up a basic forest. So Very that nice. was the plan there. Yeah, he's just doing interesting ramp to make sure he can get all his basics out of his deck. But again, he can't. He needs double green for the spike feeder. He needs double white for Archangel. He needs double green for the evolution. And there's a forest in his graveyard. It's a little bit awkward because he can't. If he if uh, Justin draws an island here, then he can just take the knight. So I guess he's got to gamble. He just yep. might not have any other options. It's second blood moon. He's got what? One, two, three, four, five islands. Four. Four islands and knights of five five. Yeah, we missed a a pretty nice little interaction there where he sacrificed the land to avoid and, the right. And because the sacrifice is part of the cost, he couldn't respond to take it. There's the island, though. And Justin just flat out asked, how many lands are in your graveyard? That's island number five, and this is a shackles activation, and he's going to path it. Let's see if Lopi has... I'm sure he does. He wouldn't yeah. be searching if he didn't. Yeah. Nope. No. He's convinced he has a plans in there. There's some hierarchs, but he can't search that up. He's looking at his graveyard. Well, well. Not in great shape. No. I mean, even if he plays the Archangel, it just gets shackled away. So that's why it's important to remember your uh, land count in modern. Right, and if you have the opportunity, like if you know it's going to be an issue because you have yeah. neither reliquary, when you search for the first one, you keep looking. Yeah, you, yeah. So he's going to untap with uh, a couple, now three unplayable cards in his hand, but no creatures, and so Justin currently has zero win conditions. He drew a bolt. Which doesn't do much. He needs five more of those to do something. Play, drew a voice, but he's not going to play that because it just gets shackled away. What's the point? That looks like a Ralzarak. Uh, it's a six man is Chandra. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's the, what's it called? The uh, Comic Con Chandra. Looks like uh, Lopi had the same thing, too. Uh, so we're going to see an attack here for six. Put Lopi to ten with those elementals that Justin's a little bit too lazy to grab out from the box. And, yeah, Lopi can't cast anything. He just scoops it up, and Justin Gabbing on the back of Blood Moon Double Shackles and drawing that timely fifth land takes game one against Naya Combo Evolution Zoo Spike Feeder Archangel. That's a better name. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too long. I can apologize for the uh, technical issues that Split and Twitch are having. They're I having apologize for time. nothing. You, you, you're a jump player. You don't apologize for anything. I don't apologize for anything. It was interesting that he didn't have... Main deck, artifact or enchantment removal? Yeah. Like, you would think that playing a deck with Eldritch Evolution and, like, ways to search up specific creatures... Yeah, just something. something as simple as a Prime Mage or a Rick Sage. Right. Especially when you're... Well, 
I mean, we, we know Billy also runs an Abyssin Evolution deck that has literally every toolbox creature you can possibly imagine. Right. And that's where I want to be, but I guess Lopi wants more of the the explosive start of, like, a zoo deck. Yeah, I mean, I mean he calls it combo zoo, probably for a reason to where it can do both things. It's like when I was playing Abzu Company, I wanted to do both things. Right. And there we saw the price of it. Uh, most like he... Did he break a worship, it looked like? Um, I don't think so. That's, so we I had to go look at this sideboard, and then we lost it. Pretty sure it was, um... Ancient grudges? Yeah, probably a probably a smart card to bring in here. Do you think he's just keeping the Nacus in the moon? I doubt it. Yeah, I mean his opponent's got a blood moon anyway. But I don't know what he brings in. Unless he has like some creatures that can blow it up. I'd be shocked if there's no Rex Age anywhere in that seventy five. I mean I could see a Kasali Pride Mage instead. Yeah, just anything to take care of an enchantment. Right. Looks like it's a static caster that Justin's looking at. I'm not surprised by that. Takes that's care a, of the Metadorks. That's an Electrolyze, sir. You sure, it wasn't, static, you sure it wasn't a static caster in there, too, that I saw? It's two Full Art Electrolyzes, two Pithing Needles. That's what he's not bringing in, though. That's just the rest of the sideboard. Oh, I'm not sure what he's bringing in. I didn't get a good look at that. Do you think Justin keeps in his Blood Moons? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we see, yeah, those are Stutata Casters and what looks like to be a blue card he plans on bringing in. Might have been a Tamiyo. Kind of looked the, like a Tamiyo. The old school Tamiyo? The old school Tamiyo. That'd be a spicy one, but I didn't get a really good look at it. O OGs everywhere tonight. But no, I mean, we saw what happens. I mean, Lopi clearly does not have two planes. He only has two forests. And so if Justin Yeo goes on a plan to attack the Mana Dorks, then... We saw what happened. Lopi had three really good cards in his hand that he could not cast. Absolutely, but he's playing a deck that can very easily play around Blood Moon. He just wasn't prepared for it. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how these two players uh, dance around each other this game, knowing that they can both theoretically Blood Moon, knowing that Lopi needs to be sure he can cast his win conditions and we saw Lopi knew how to interact with Knight and Medical Shackles. Certainly. And in that game, even if he gets Blood Moon locked, if there isn't Shackles on board, like he's in really good shape. Yeah, I can imagine he's just going to grow, grow, grow his Knight. Right. Why would Justin bring Tamio in here? Um, I'm not sure. It just what looked like what the card was. He might have... <laughs> been planning on so he knows Lopi has two forests and one planes so if he has Tamio I don't know can Tamio keep a land tapped or is uh, it just a creature the plus one is tap target permanent and does not untap during its next tap phase so yeah it would so yeah you can shut off a forest if it even was a Tamio yeah we'll see though as well players keeping the seven Forest and the Birds of Paradise is a really good start here for Lopi. As yeah, Justin draws a Blood Moon for his turn, and he's looking at a bunch of lands. I think he's got a Bolt. Yeah, it's a Full Art Bolt. Not bolting the bird, though. <laughs> no, you, you always bolt the bird. I'm, that's I'm, so aggressive. Not sure why you do not bolt this bird. This is... Lopi's going to fetch to 19. Let's see what he gets. Gets the basic. Plan around the Blood Moon. Didn't bolt the bird. I'm still baffled. I know. This is looking like a. It seems like a couple, for three lands, I think. The Blood Moon, a bolt. It's like a Jace Architect of Thought, maybe. Architect of Thought. Man, we're just going like all the old Planeswalkers today. There's an Akkadal. Only a 2 2. Justin's going to fetch and the turn. Let's see if he bolts it here. I mean. You no. gotta think if he was gonna bolt it, like take damage to bolt it, he would have done it on his. Is game. there any reasonable counter magic Justin wants to bluff there? Like a spell snare, maybe. But what? if you let the b bird live, he's threatening a three drop. Yeah. He's so. threatening evolution into a th three drop. Looks like he drew a cryptic for the turn. Bird's bird's still gonna live. Slow draw. Cattle number two as he plays a Wood of Foothills. So we're gonna 
come in for free. I'm going to get a bolt in the car. There's got to be something that Justin has that we don't know. Unless he's just... He's got a Snapcaster so he can snap bolt the birds, but... Still, the damage is done. Nobody's playing either two true drops or four drop or... Right. If this is a knight, then that's going to be a 4-4. Four four. It can't be bolted. It is a knight. And an coddle. Yeah, that, that's there it is. the danger of not bolting a bird. That knight's going to be a 4-4 four four and threaten it. Oh. All right, everybody. Bolt the bird. Always bolt, bolt the bird. Bolt the damn bird. Just do it. Here's the other thing, too. Blood Moon does nothing on this board. Literally no. nothing. Yeah, I mean, Lopi's played around it the entire time. There was even a fetch where Justin's like, you're taking one or three. He's like, I'm taking one and getting a basic. You're playing Blood Moon. Lopi is a very smart person. Well, you're giving him a little bit more credit than is due there. Smarter than I am. All right. <laughs> that is the appropriate amount of credit. Basic forest. Is that a solve in Justin's hand? No, it's the I might just, promo crazy. snapcaster. Oh, that, that hideous looking thing. It's not hideous. Oh, God, it's hideous. It's nowhere near as good looking, I'll give you that. Oh, here's an attack for six, yeah. That's so we got Snapcaster Bolt. Snapcaster. We're gonna block. He's gonna target Lightning Bolt. Is that a stony silence in Lopi's hand, possibly? Oh, if we're going to post combat, this is. Yeah, that's a starting sound, so Shackles is off the board here. Oh, okay, he wanted to bolt the hot knight and get rid of it there, but still. Oh. But, well, I guess he doesn't know he has evolution. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's seen the deck. Justin usually behind the counter on Tuesday nights. He has oh, yeah. probably no idea what Lopi's up to. He just had Lopi playing a, a fair-looking zoo deck. Extremely fair looking suit. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> Little does he you know how unfair it actually is. So Justin has Cryptic at the ready now. But he's just going to play this Jace Architect, I thought. He's in a plus. That means the color's going to swing in for one. As Lopi draws his card. He's going to fetch. He's going to shock himself in the 15, but more importantly, the color is going to grow a little bit more. Maybe shock himself down to 15. What's in his hand? I mean, he, he literally can't find anything else but a... Uh, yeah, but he can just let it come to play tapped. True, yeah. Yeah, he's got a good point, yeah. I don't think his hand's that good right now. I think it's a Revel Arc. I mean, Revel Arc's pretty good on this board. Yeah, but nothing you want to shock for. I would shock for it if I had to, but he can cast it. Ugh, that... That's going to be two you. with Justin. Remember, uh, the Jace shrinks it a little bit, and here's Revelark. No respect for that Jace. No. I don't blame him. Yeah, it's it's a questionable card. So Justin will draw here. It's another Blood Moon again. That's a completely useless card. That's why I'm a big fan of taking out Blood Moons in like the post game. We're going to tick down Jace, see Land, Bolt, Seer Visions. Yeah, you can have a Bolt. Yeah, I have a bolt. I don't care. Justin says, sure, I'll take this bolt. I mean, what are you going to do? Bolt the Reveler? Come on. Yep. Justin confirming what Revelark does. I mean, he's probably going to bolt the, the coddle then. Oh, it's just so bad. There are no good options. No, when like, Revelark's even involved. if he bounces the Reveler. Yeah, bouncing the Revelark's a terrible idea. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. There's Revel Luck for you, yeah. It went least a battlefield, period. So, I, like, I'm pretty sure you just bolt it, but it's not good. No. But then he's just going to get the Night of the Brooklyn back. And the Nakata. And the Nakata, yeah, it's just... I don't know if he can get the... He can't get the Nakata because he searched up the mountain. He's going to... Yep. So we're going to bolt the Revel Luck. Here comes Knight... And the coddle number two. 
Justin's gonna take. Should be taking three. There's the scavenging arrows. And Justin says no. He's gonna draw an island off the uh, cryptic, then untap and draw for the turn. It's a blow to Delta. Just not finding much of anything here. He's gonna dig a little bit more off Jace. There's a mana leak. There's a the land. There's a mana leak. None of those are good here. Kind of surprised he didn't see him visions before he did that. I don't know what he's looking for that costs six. Chandra. That's true. Chandra would be pretty good. Chandra would wipe this board out flat. Well, a Knight's a 5-5 five five now. Because there's... Yeah, there's three in the graveyard. Here's his Hero Visions. Looks at Snapcaster Island. I'll just be... Three, six... Yeah, he's just dead here. I don't think there's any removal in his hand. Yeah, it's... Two Mana Leaks, two Blood Moons, and some lands. You can bluff it. Yeah. Make him think about it, but I just think Lopi's play here is just to swing. Yeah. I mean, holding back in a cause is not going to do anything. That's what he does, and Justin scoops him up, and we're going to game three. Revelark, really good card. Yeah, Revelark's one hell of a magic card. We're going to game three here. Justin will be on the play again. So it's it's a weird ruling. Um, you can't get a Tarmogoyf back because a Tarmogoyf is defined by how many card types are in the graveyard. But you can get back like an Akadol or a Knight of the Reliquary so because it's, like it's a bonus when it's in play. That's like you can get back the Sylvan Advocate off of the Ultradice Command. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Perfectly a play. Again, Tarmogoyf is defined. I need the fine card. You can't get back because it's defined. As long as it's over two. Like, you can get back a Tarmac Wife if there's only two cards. Yeah, but since it's not in play, it's just, just a 2-2. Two -two. Just a 2-2 two -two for three. Can't, Someone assuming. Can't look at anything if it's not in play. So Justin's taking a quick look at the sideboard. I think play number one here for Justin is to bolt the bird. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if... Do you think he brings in those Electrolyzes in this time? Just to... Electrolyze is solid. Bolt um, some birds. I really want to take out the Blood Moons. Yeah, I mean, he drew two of them. They did absolutely nothing. And they're not going to um, do anything because Lopi's going to play around them. No, it'll, he, he can play around them and he can just play his own Blood Moons if he really wants to, but... Yeah. I mean, it worked game one, but game two, I mean, he just... fetched for He fetched for literally all of his basics that game. Yeah, you, once you know Blood Moon's coming, it's not anywhere near as good. No, it's just the three mana do nothing enchantment. Which maybe could be a reason why he doesn't bring in the enchantment removal. I mean, he brought the artifact hate with the stony silence. Mm -hmm. And if you just go play around Blood Moon, then, then there's no need to. Lopi looked like he did not sideboard. Not sure if Justin did. Uh, Justin was looking at one or two cards. I don't know if he ended up bringing them in or not. But one or two cards does not equal four Blood Moons taken out of the deck. That's true, but sometimes you just don't have anything to bring in. Like, uh, we saw the two Electrolyzes. I didn't see much else. We saw that he brought in, or he might not have brought in, it might be in his main deck, that Jace, which is already pretty suspect. Yeah, bring in the Tamio. If it was a Tamio. We'll find out. Bring in the Spice. Plenty of time left for these players, so there'll be no rush this game, even though Blue Moon kind of dirtles around a bit, but... If it dirtles around a bit, then yeah, Lopi's probably just losing anyway, so yeah. it's fine. I guess the one argument to be, um, again, if Justin knows what Lopi's doing, it could turn double white off. They could theoretically turn double green off. Yeah, it was the Tamio. It's in the hand. So here we go. Both players looks like they're keeping their seven. Here's an island and a Serum Vision. So good start here for Justin. He's at a draw. He's at a scry. Double land, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think he wants that. Pretty sure he doesn't want the well. One was a land for sure. I didn't see the second one. Because a lot of people drop for his turn. It was a Temple Garden. Pretty sure they're both lands. 
I think that's pretty aggressive. No bird here. That would have been free, free from bolts as Justin's going to play island number two or pass it back. Lopey will wisely fetch on the basic while he can. Bunch of basics in hand there for Justin. There's a cryptic in there too. There's a Tammy. I don't see much else though. Lopey's talking about how his hand desperately would have let the one drop. We'll see what we have to follow up. I can imagine a bunch of creatures are waiting to be deployed. Uh, Voice of Resurgence is pretty solid here. Yeah. If he has it. Looks like he has a couple of Spike Feeders, a couple of Lands, a Revelark. Drew? Not sure. No two drop. No two drop. Wow. It kind of looks like a Voice That's on the, the far moon. left. I mean, Justin just has to slam Blood Moon here, right? It completely turned. Yep. This is a Blood Moon. Lopey's forced to fetch for his basic. And unless he draws it, he cannot play his planes. I'm sure he took out his paths as well. Yeah. I mean, literally the only cards he's pathing is his own. Right. Uh, like, so, all of his mana dorks are still live draws. Yeah. Provided they live. I, I assume Justin will be bolting them as soon as he possibly can this time. Looked like a wolf run was the draw there from Lopi as he plays a tap temple garden and a scavenging use return. Scavenging use is a clock. Justin's draw there was a Seer of Visions. He has four mana up for Cryptic Command and he's just going to pass. Yeah, I can't imagine Lopi is very interested in casting things into Cryptic Commands nope. here. Nope, well, he's going to. Here comes a Spike Feeder. Justin's like, eh, sure, why not? Let's him draw a card. But there were just two lands. But here comes Tamio, the Moon Sage. And we're going to tap down that ooh, so, so much for that clock. Spike feeder. Spike feeder number two. But still, Justin is thrilled with the start. Draw after turn is a promo roast. Lopey's gonna take this time to gain some life. How is he? So Spike Feeder can also move plus one plus one counters. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so that's what he did there. He just yep. He made moved one and then gained two. Not used to that interaction of, in any way, shape, or form. Man, Lopey is not. One planes away from doing some really nice things here with a Rebel Arc in hand. Yep. But Justin looks like he's able to be snap casting and cryptic commanding any any hope of that. Just a making sure ooh. Not interested. Not at all. As he's gonna Eat some creatures, gain some life, but again, that, that uh, spike feeder is going to stay tapped. He's going to drop it to turn, not a planes. That's a hierarch, though. Lopi wondering about the hot ultimate on Tamio. It's a spicy one. It's a bit of a doozy. Let's go one more loyalty to reach it. Justin will play his land for the turn. Looking at tapping some mana, just does not care about anything Lopi does. Here's a Snapcaster Mage. Here's a Bolt. Here's a Roast. He's able to respond and save the Scavenging Use. So what happened there was Justin tried to snap back the roast to deal five to a Man, five toughness scavenging him. That was yeah, a big play. Yeah, in response, Lopi tapped his Blood Moon's fetch land to bolt the Snapcaster, then immediately eat the Snapcaster, and then make it a six toughness creature. So, yeah. But still, I mean, Lopi's respecting the Tammy Ultimate. I do, I do not blame him. Well, he's playing around counter magic. Um,. He has the evoked Revel Arc. Uh, 
And this Snapcaster Mage is doing some, this uh, Ooze is doing some serious work against these Snapcaster Mages. Absolutely. But now we have this uh, Timmy Ultimate looming again. It's not going to win just in the game, though. It's just he has a maximum hand size, so whenever a card is put into Graveyard from anywhere, he gets it back to his hand. Meanwhile, he has the Strike Tusk that Justin let resolve, apparently. Yeah, he... I mean, I thought he had the third Snapcaster in hand. He could very possibly not. So Lopi somehow does not care about this Timmy ultimate, does not care about this Blood Moon where he can't cast most of his cards in hand. He's just... Well, he's trying to attack into the Tamiyo, but yeah. he's got the Snapcaster, which makes this a little bit awkward. He might be thinking that Justin wants to up Tamiyo one more time, mm -hmm. so he's not going to block this, so he can block the Thrag Tusk. Yeah. I think Justin just said, why then not cast that card? Which leads me to believe there's another Snapcaster in his hand. He just I think he's got a Remand in hand. Yeah, that's a promo Remand. You might have two of them. These people and their foils, I swear. <laughs> right. Like he's going to minus the Tamiyo. He's going to draw some cards that are both lands. Not what the Doctor looked at there. That was a big misplay. This just, this game might just be completely turned around now. You just want to keep plusing that Tamiyo? Yeah, like, if you can... You just need one more turn. Yeah. There's a voice... That gets remanded. That's a mana leak from the draws. Tamiyo gonna die. Well, there goes your win con. I think it's because Shackles. There's a bolt. That's the draw. Let's see if he bolts the bird here. You're just gonna play a land tapped. And I think it's still the right call, even this late in the game, taking him off of white mana. Yeah. That's the only white source, and there's only one more in his deck. Lopi will finally eat away that cryptic command. Lopi's just content swinging in right now. I don't, yeah, I don't blame him. And he knows right when he thinks he doesn't have any more counter magic, he's got this Revel Arc that he can just evoke and huge board state. Here's a gigantic attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, no, 9, 10, 11. 11. We're going to send some of that by bolting the Thrag Tusk. Let's see if Justin wants to block here. You gotta think he's gonna want this six through. This is not sure. Lopi's ready to eat that red tusk and make it bigger. Lopi just takes it. Second main phase. Here comes another voice. A voice, and that's another remand. Looks like there's a bunch of voices in Lopi's hand. Is that three voices? Three voices in a rebel arc. It looks like. It's a pretty good hand. Absolutely. Justin draws the Venelkin Shackles. I'm uh, pretty sure he does not have enough islands to match the toughness and power of that scavenging hero as he counts his islands up. He's got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, can't. He can take the beast, but that's not, not, that's not what you do at all. Right, that's not going to be too relevant. Nope. There's the Shackles. Lobby asks about the islands. Justin confirms five. So now you don't want the voice out there. No. Voice just gets taken and... Or Revelark. Oh, wow. I mean, isn't there a bolt in his hand? Yeah, his plan here is to block and then kill the ooze, but there's the drag test still drag in the graveyard. The yeah. And then an attack. Wow, aggressive. Justin getting frisky. Aggressive. Yep, Lopi's going to eat the track test, so blocking for the 3-3 and both, he no longer works. It would anyway, just because if he attacks just solely the uh, ooze, which I imagine he will, because he's off the trigger. Mm -hmm. There's a red card from Lopi. It looks like a bolt. Yep. Bolt? Bolt. Goodbye, beast. Goodbye, blocker. Hello, five, six, seven, eight damage. Just Down to can't four. can't do anything about it. Let's see what Lopi does here. He just passed. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. No. 
I imagine Justin just lets it resolve. Yeah, he needs something to block. Yeah. Justin will untap. A fresh new blocker. Not sure what his draw is. It could be one of many promos. Is that a missed trigger in his part for the shackles? Looks like it. Looks like both players are content with the untap, though, so. I think he drew another Snapcaster. Yeah. Which clearly doesn't do much. He's going to take the voice with the blocker. Yeah, he can snap serum visions, I guess. No, no, because, no, yeah, he still has a green source. He definitely can't bolt snap bolt, because, again, that's going to get eaten. As a people will untap and then draw. It's on the mountain. Voice number two coming in. It's not great. Nope. <laughs> They'll be wisely just passing. Justin will draw and land. Many lands here for Justin and Lopi, but more importantly, Lopi has three green sources at its disposal and one white source. As well as a second voice of resurgence at Revelar just, just waiting. Finally, we Finally bolted bolts. the bird. <laughs> bolts the bird on turn 20. Turn 20, bolt the bird. So number of white sources, so... Can't do much of anything else, as we'll be able to wisely eat the bolt, draw for turn, it's a land. He's got two uncastables, but at this point, it does literally not matter. He just passes it back, though. Then I'll eat the draw. The card is completely useless. Lopi's got to eat a double hierarch. That thing's going to get even bigger. Not sure Justin runs enough islands to take that anymore. Draws another bird. We're not going to man like anything here because that's just, that's just a disaster for Justin. And just passes back the turn. I mean, Lopi's pretty content to just wait, right? Yeah. Like, you can just wait until he draws into whatever. So snap the draw. Again, not, not what the doctor ordered. He needs other shackles or something here. The voice of resurgence is doing a great job of just shutting off his hand. Yep. Good old main phase snapcaster for serum visions. Low people say no. He's another snapcaster in hand. Would you have snapped off that second snapcaster in response? Well, it doesn't do anything, so I guess it doesn't not. do anything. <laughs> but if... Like, you wanted to try to set up a an actual Snapcaster target. Yeah, that's... Voice number two for Lopi. It's the of the game, of course. The voice on Justin's side is Lopi's. That has been shackled. Electrolyze the draw here. Seriously? No, he's not gonna... Seriously? <laughs> so, true to the face for Justin. He's gonna All draw right. a card. I think it was a cryptic. One damage... Oh to the dome is not worth leaving no. a Birds of Paradise alive. Because <laughs> now it's... Oh. I mean, if that is a cryptic command, he's got two voices out there. Let's see. Yeah, he's probably going to bounce the ooze. Yeah. The reign of terror from this ooze is over. Draws a land for the turn. He's out of blue sources, though. And out of snapcasters. That's a lie. I think he's still got one in hand. He's got two mana leaks, the card he drew, and that four snap. And then the attack. He's getting a little bit frisky. So Lopic is on the 24, still in a very comfortable position. I can't believe that he's going to untap with his Birds of Paradise. Like, that is just mind-boggling. And the main face snapcaster mage, let's see what he's targeting. He yep, realizes he cannot legally cast that card, so back to the hand. A lot of people draw, it's another mountain. But again, he has this Birds of Paradise. He's going to swing. Here comes the attacks. Here comes the double block. Lopi is A-OK -okay with that. Because guess what's coming? Mr. Skews. No, not Mr. Skews. Mr. Revelar. There we go. 
Well, and he evoked it. Well, yeah, casting it for six lets him evoke it, which means it immediately gets sacrificed, which means it immediately triggers, and Justin gets very, very sad. Instant army. Uh, we've got some six six elementals. So now what? This Justin again doesn't attack his shackles. <coughs> Did not get a good look at the draw. It is not Chandra. Chandra would have been. It's a batter skull. Still not Chandra. Chandra would have been great here. Chandra's was exactly what he needed. I mean, it's not amazing. What, the batter skull? No, the Chandra. Like, he just dies still because he gets the tokens off of the elementals and their tutus. But in theory, he takes one of them with shackles. Oh, sure. Four, five mana. Here comes Batter Skull. Batter Skull. It's a four, four Vigilance Life Licker. There's a snap and two mana leaks left over. As Lopi says, I oh, have two six sixes. Which are much better than Justin's three, three. There's a snap. In response, Lopi's going to activate the scavenging use. Only would have tapped his mana correctly last turn. Only would have bolted a bird. <laughs> Is there ever a time where you do not bolt the bird? I mean, if it's this late and there's no blood moon out, then yeah, I wouldn't bolt the bird. <laughs> so pretty much almost always. Yes. Stellary Silence is a great draw here. So now even if he remembers that he has a Vidalkin Shackles... It's useless. There's no reason Lopi doesn't attack here. Yeah, here comes... So he can kill both of these and gain four, but that leaves him with literal nothing. Yeah, he, he can't do anything with his batter skull. He can block here. Yeah, batter skull, the germ dies, and he can't reattach batter skull to anything. It's just an artifact. Absolutely. And he doesn't want to cast anything. Because nope. of the double voice. And I think he's just got mana leaks anyway. That skill should not be dead. Yeah, Justin realizes that. Separating out some lands. Draws uh, a useless bolt. Does not do anything here on the board. Other than bolt the bird, but that's way too late for that. Yeah, we're Revelark has been that invoked. Point. So you can bolt the skews. No, you can grow it out of range. No, nope, there's Rumble. even still there's two. There'll be two five fives left on this board. Justin realizes he's dead. Offers the hand and Lopi, James Grindel Lopi, in the back of birds and Hyrax that lived. And that huge evoked Revelark wins this match two games to one. There were so many opportunities for Justin to seal this game away, yep. and I just... just That's why you bolt the bird, boys and girls. That's why you bolt the bird. Because even though combos are going to combo off, it can still do things. Justin says, hey, I had this anger, but again... Revelark did some work there. All right, we got six and a half minutes left to go. We'll be back for round three. I know people are requesting Delver. We will try to get the match on for you, so stay tuned. Dude, Delver. We gotta, we gotta do what the people ask, man. See, I don't like being shackled by the people. What if they cast Stony Silence? Then I'm fine with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in about six or seven minutes or so. are extremely painful for you. And these stupid scions are protecting me from Liliana. Did you have it? Yeah. Uh, actual stone raid? Actual stone raid. This what are you doing? Go. This is the situation. This is fine. <laughs>